we're here again. <laughs> <laughs> it's Susanna from the Good Property Company and Ash, and Hi. you can see the, site, uh, the, the height difference. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so what we thought we'd do for you guys is come round um, and have a look at different deals, kind of how things happened, um, mm -hmm. so that you can maybe take anything that we talk about in this deal and think, oh, that's happening to me, or that's something I might want to do myself. So Ash and I started, we've worked together five and a half, yeah, five, so, uh, five and a half. Five and a half, five and three quarter years together now. Mm -hmm. um, Ash was a baby-faced, non-bearded estate okay. agent uh, who sold me some houses. And I said to him, you know, it was just me, the kitchen table. And I was like, okay, I'm running this sourcing business. So would you be interested at all in coming to work with me? Mm. And my offer mm. was, what's the lowest amount of money you can live on? Because Very obviously true. it's a startup business. And you took three months to decide? Yeah. Yep. Can he work with this crazy lady? And then in the first week, I worked on the kitchen table, you worked on the dining room table, mm -hmm. and then his dining room table went into a buy to sell property. So they need to come and work on the kitchen table for a bit. And it's been tough. Yep. Yeah. It in has. Bits. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we're on deal, I think it's 217. Something you, like that. I think um, it's, yeah, it's in the 200s. And, you know, you don't do that kind of thing without um, pushing it hard, working stupid hours. Mm and you know getting all the kind of classic speed bumps so but also it's been quite good fun most of the time most of the time, yeah. most <laughs> yes. of the time. um so ash is now an investor himself uh, working in mm -hmm. on a number of your projects which is really yeah. cool for me to see and we've also done a joint ventures together Definitely, haven't we yes so what we're doing for you guys today is just looking we're kind of doing a nice review of all our deals um like what did we buy it for what was good what was bad what was tough um and mm -hmm. how did we or either we or our investors make money out of it now these days all of our deals get bought by the company yeah. um and so our plan was always to run a sourcing business for five years and we've now shut that sourcing business and we still run the education side and ash and i still work together on property but property for for the business but early days one of the things we needed to do because we didn't have much money mm -hmm. as a business was source for investors so that in the nicest way we could then earn more money to then buy more properties for the business itself and um, so it's kind of you know you don't have all the cash so one option is to be a sourcing company and we do have things like sourcing uh, legal agreements and stuff like that online obviously always look at your own lawyer as well so this one was um, um, source deal yeah um, fairly early on what um, deal number? 58. 58. So yeah. that was year two? Year two or year war? Yeah, year two. Yeah. Year two. Um, and it was uh, off to us. It was repossession, actually. Um, oh, was it? Yeah. yeah. And we managed to get in there with a, um, a couple of investors who were, who were just starting out in property, really. Um, they were looking to build a portfolio at the time in Bristol yeah. um, to kind of get um, you know, get a few multi-lets, that sort of thing. So they bought this one, uh, which was a three-bed mid-terrace. Um, That's this one. That here. one there. <laughs> uh, fairly kind of tired, really, but not, you know, not too bad condition-wise. And what's the location like? Uh, Fish Ponds is nice and steady. Um, you know, it's close to the town, close to um, UWE. Which is the university. University. And also um, fairly good to get out on the motorway and stuff like that. Yeah, but in the most lovely way, quite an average looking house. Not being rude about it at yeah, all, yeah, but yeah, yeah. you know, kind of you know, average terrace. Mill sort of thing, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah. And repossessions, what happens in a repossession? Because uh, some, and loads of folks will know, but some folks, you know, the first, it's, it's you don't depends. know until you know. Depends. Some, some of them are very, like, straightforward to get. Um, you know, you can, you can have all the legal paperwork in place and stuff like that. Some of them are a nightmare where you don't have anything. Um, and you just need to kind of take a chance. But I think this one was fairly, fairly straightforward mm. in the grand scheme of things. So we managed to get it um, from, I think it, was, it must have been from an estate agent, I can't remember who, um, but it's from an estate agent. And we bought it for 116 um, and they went on, did a refurb and rented it out um, for one seven five a month what did um, we say the rent would be uh we said it was one four five so what we said yeah. one four five and their rent was one one seven five, one seven yeah. five. so 1750 uh, quid yes, month, yes, yeah. yes 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 not one seven five yeah. 1750 so um what 300 quid more than we said how yeah. do we know that 
because uh, we used to manage it. We, yeah. Yes. So in the early days, we ran a sourcing business and then we used to let out all the properties for our investors. These days, my team only manage my own properties. We decided not to continue to grow the lettings business. Mm -hmm. And we actually passed everybody on to a really good quality letting agency in Bristol. So we controlled it and managed it for the first few years for the investor, didn't we? So for you guys, that's another way that you can grow. When you start off, another piece of income is uh, find the deal, source the deal. And then, you know, for the investors, mm -hmm. it's rather smooth if you then run the letting agency. And we used to, didn't we? And yeah. this was an actual single. And so every tenant was, <laughs> every tenant was small, petite, cute, and had long hair. I don't know. Either. <laughs> Okay, and um, so what? How is this rented out? Is it three bedrooms uh, upstairs? Three bedrooms upstairs, and then one bedroom downstairs, in where you'd be the lounge. Then you've got communal lounge, kitchen space at the back. Got you, got um, you. Yeah, so you know, nice and steady, really. Yeah, and uh, we think these guys still have it. Will Pretty sure they still have it. Yeah. yeah, and they went on to do a whole bunch of other deals with us, didn't they? Yeah, they did a couple of others with us, and I think then they went and bought their own stuff like that. So. Which which we, is pretty cool. Yeah, and so it's been lovely to see them develop and then feel confident enough to go and do it themselves. Yeah. Yeah, I remember when they were doing, not this house, another house, they, they were rent, doing the renovations a lot themselves and they mm. ended up camping out in the house, which was quite good fun yeah. to watch. And I remember they were really paranoid about um, thieves, so they, had, they were really proud that they had one of those radios that turned on and off and a light that turned on and off to kind of detect, <laughs> deter to thieves. Anything else about this place apart from to say it's a fairly bread and butter? Yes, um, great study. They're earning. They were at the time when we managed it three hundred mm -hmm. quid more a month than we said. So seventeen hundred and fifty, which is not bad rental mm -hmm. for a property that they bought for. One hundred and sixteen. One hundred and sixteen. Pretty good yeah. yield. Not bad. So just a steady bread and butter cookie cutter, really. Yeah. Okay. So if you're starting out and you don't have a load of money uh, and you're thinking, okay, I can source deals, I can work with investors, how do I build my fund? Sourcing onto other people might be an interesting thing for you to do. Right, we're on to cool. the next one. All right. Okay.